Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy and today I'm going to be doing my first Q&A. And I was tagged by my friend on YouTube, Elena Jenkins. I hope I'm saying your name right. I'm so sorry if I'm not Elena. And she is a very sweet and down-to-earth YouTuber if you want to go check her out. And she tagged me and had some questions from the tag to respond to myself. I haven't really read any of these, so I'm trying to be as, I guess, organic as possible with my answers. And I asked you guys on my Instagram, and if you want to see, you know, my Instagram, you can go to my description box and find my uh, username in there. And I asked you guys on there what, you know, if you had any questions for me also, and you could comment or you could put them in my direct message. And I got just a few on there. And a few of them were in my direct messages, so I'm going to assume that you wanted to be anonymous for whatever reason. So I'm not going to mention your name. I hope that's okay. To get started, I'm going to do the ones from my friend Elena's tag. And <clears throat> the first one is, where are you from? <laughs> ATL. <laughs> Atlanta. Um, how many languages do you speak? Just this one. <laughs> I've actually been working on German for quite some time. It's a very difficult language to master, and so I'm in no way fluent in it, but I've been trying to learn it for a few years, and I would be embarrassing myself if I tried to speak any of it right now, because like I said, I am not fluent. I don't claim to be. It's just a personal goal I've been trying to achieve for the past few years. What is your family status? Mary Dadle, Dadle, Mary Dadle, single kids. I am in a long-term committed relationship with my significant other, and we have two, 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 three children. <laughs> and I have two beautiful sons and a daughter, and they are my everything in the world. They are my every breath, and. I don't know <clears throat> if I intend on sharing them ever on my YouTube with you. I'm very protective of them. Um, that's not to say if you share your kids on your channel that you're not protective by any means. Please don't take it that way. I'm just, I'm very protective of them and I haven't decided if I want to do that. They, of course, have asked, can I be on your channel? Can I be on your channel? And I'm like, no, not yet. <laughs> so I don't know if they can be or not. But if I ever do, my friend that I mentioned before, Elena, has a cute little thing where her son does her makeup, and that would probably be something that I would do, because it's a very cute idea, and they've never even touched makeup before, so that would be really interesting to see. <clears throat> um, the next question is, do you subscribe to a new channel as soon as you get a request from them? Um... It depends, I guess. I'm really new on here. So you want to build your channel, but at the same time, I'm really authentic in everything I do. And I want to try to get things as organic as possible. And I want to do things ethically, if that makes sense. I want to be, you know, I want you guys to know that I'm trustworthy. So I don't want to just go around saying sub for sub, sub for sub, sub for sub. Not that. Not that you're not, you know, truthful if you do that. I just want to try to achieve my goal, I guess, by putting, you know, the work in the way that I'm doing. I'm, I constantly put out videos. I'm consistent. I do it when I say I'm going to do it. And I do that on my Instagram as well. So I'm just trying to be as, you know, ethic, ethically, you know, right about it as possible, I guess you could say. So <clears throat> at the same time, Sub for Subbing does support other YouTubers that are getting started so I do and have been doing that and I don't mind doing it but I don't necessarily myself go around asking to do that um, let's see the next question is do you sub for sub that's pretty much what I just answered do the numbers matter to you yes and no I'd be lying if I said no completely because at the end of the day you're putting and you don't even realize it until you start making videos. You're actually putting kind of a lot of work into this. And so I don't necessarily care if I ever have like a high number of subscribers. But I guess I do care about the views in a way. Just because I am making this content to reach people for a reason. Um, so I definitely want people to see it 
you know, because that's what I'm doing it for, is to maybe help other people. Um, so, you know, in a way it does, and in a way it doesn't, so. What is the YouTube Platinum? Platinum? I can read, y'all just don't know it. <laughs> what is the YouTube platform for you? What is your favorite part of YouTube? The YouTube Platinum. Oh my god, I said it again. Platform for me. Um, I guess if I'm answering this right, I use it to hopefully be able to inspire other people. Um, <clears throat> I waited a long time to get started and do my channel. I've been wanting to do a YouTube channel and make my own beauty channel for literally the last 10 years. It's been since 2009. That's when I first started. And that's why my channel is so geared towards makeup tutorials because that era, if you will, of YouTube tutorials, I mean, of YouTube back in like 2009 when everything was really getting started with it, um, that was my favorite time because it was people just teaching and not just chatting about random nothings. And I mean, that's fine, but that's not stuff I'm interested in seeing. And hopefully there's people out there that are interested in what I'm showing them. And I didn't ever think I'd be doing a Q&A video, <laughs> but I mean, I am, so here I am. But, um, I just, I really like being able to hopefully maybe make a difference in someone's life. And you think that's silly probably because it's just makeup, but it's not always just makeup. Maybe I can give someone else confidence the way someone gave me confidence to get started. And, you know, maybe I can help someone with the kind of tips I like to try to give out on my channel. You know, um, you never know, honestly, and this is going to be all cheesy, but you honestly never know whose lives you're going to touch. And the most important thing you do is like how you speak to people because you don't ever know in this world what someone's going through and you just I want to be a positive force for people and I want to be you know just helpful I guess I want to contribute back and just put into something that I've always been a part of on the other side just watching you know what I mean so if that makes sense um, what is your favorite city in the U.S.? <sighs> That's tough. <laughs> I don't know. Whenever someone asks me what your favorite of anything is, I have such a hard time. I am so indecisive. So it would have to depend on for what. What's your favorite city for a memory? That would probably be a place in North Carolina called Cherokee because it was a place we spent a lot of time when I was growing up. Um, so that's probably for that but if you asked me what's my favorite city for I don't know vacationing or something else it would be a totally different answer but if I had to just think of something I would probably have to say Cherokee just off the top of my head um is that the city I don't even know if that's the city <laughs> I hope that it is <laughs> um but it's in North Carolina and it's it's just one of my all-time favorite memories, and it just brings back so much happy thoughts when I think about it. So, probably that. Um, what is your greatest accomplishment so far in your life? That is a really good question. A lot of these aren't even makeup related, which I thought they would be. Um, my greatest accomplishment, by far, is my children. Because they... I have put everything... I've ever had since I've had them into their lives um, they are the reason I do anything and they come before anything and everything and they are by far my greatest accomplishment they're very smart and beautiful children they are so kind and they have such good hearts and it that's something I try to you know flourish with them and, and try to grow and, and help you know, water, so to speak, so they grow like little plants. Um, but it's by far them. So that was the end of those questions. But on my Instagram, the only one that publicly commented was my friend Elena from YouTube. And her question was, what is on your bucket list? For sure, going to Italy. That has been my number one, like, dream since... I can, I don't know, for years and years and years. I have always wanted to go to Italy. It is so beautiful. And the food. <laughs> I also want to go for the food. I would be lying if I said that I wasn't going for the food. But because of the architecture, the scenery, just the general, what's the word, the environment. That's not the word I'm looking for. 
just the feeling of the place, you know. It looks like it's such a wonderful place, and I just, I want to go. I've always wanted to go. It's the, I'm going one day. <laughs> and so these were in my direct messages on Instagram, so I'm going to call these people anonymous because I'm assuming maybe they didn't want to be named. Um, I'm sorry if I'm wrong about that. You talked about a dog <laughs> in your YouTube video. Oh, you watched my video. Hello, thank you. Um, how many pets do you have? <laughs> I have three pets. I have my oldest is my cat and she is 11 years old. My next second oldest is my dog. My Well, she's like a beagle mix uh, and she's... What year did we get her? She's about seven years old now and my little dog that you hear all the time huffing and puffing and breathing by the door is my little chihuahua <laughs> and he's a good dog he's a sweet dog there's so many misconceptions about him but he's a really good dog i know some of them suck for real <laughs> like the the chihuahuas like how they're like how angry they are but he's a really good dog <laughs> but um they don't suck i'm just kidding i don't think any dogs suck <laughs> But I love all pets, but he's he's not, you know, like an angry one like they typically are, you know, made to be. Um, he's actually the oldest. Well, he's in ties with my cat. He's 11 this year also, but I've only had him for the last, I think, six years. Um, he was a foster. He was being fostered and by this girl, but she had had him for a year and nobody wanted him and she was fixing to take him back to the pound and he was to be euthanized which is horrible and I found him just in the brink of time and I adopted him our other dog our beagle she was a rescue puppy as well we went to the shelter and wanted to get us a dog that you know to, to rescue just because that's kind of how we are and we her little brother or sister or one, they were all snuggled up at each other and they were just little teeny puppies and they were just next to each other and it was the saddest thing. And we were going to get both of them, but someone had already pre-adopted the other one, so we just got her. And it was just the saddest thing. We didn't want to leave its little brother or sister there. I can't remember what it was, but we got her and she's a great dog. She is so sweet. She's by no means a protecting dog like... <laughs> She loves running around in the yard a lot, and if anybody was to come up to her, she would in no way alert us that there's an intruder, <laughs> because she's just so sweet to everyone. She's like, <sighs> and just, and looks at them and loves them. My cat, on the other hand, is mean as hell. <laughs> that poor cat, she is so mean. She was not a rescue from a facility, but she was a, we rescued her as a kitten. She was actually stuck up inside the car, like, uh, she crawled up underneath, like where all the, the tires and stuff is and was like stuck up there and she had to be gotten out and I was like well we're gonna keep her <laughs> because that's kind of how I am if someone isn't controlling me keeping the animals I will try to get more animals it's just what it is so I have three to very longly answer your question another I will say anonymous person is if you had to give up a beauty product for the rest of your life what would it be Oh my god. I might pass out. <laughs> um Oh wow. Um if I had to give up a beauty product. Holy cow, this is hard. I'm assuming that you mean like not like brushes and stuff or maybe you do, but I, I assume you mean like mascara, eyeliner, this and that and the other. I would say eyeliner. That's really hard. I would have to say eyeliner because I gotta keep my eyeshadow. See how pretty this eyeshadow is I'm wearing today? <laughs> I would have to keep my eyeshadow. I would have to keep my brow products because I have some like blonde hairs in this guy that's gotta be covered up and I have a scar in one of them that like makes makes it where there's no hair. I gotta have my contour because I have a big old face. <laughs> blush because I love blush. Highlighter because look at that glow. Look at that. And mascara because I gotta have mascara. Well, I guess I could give up lashes because I don't wear them. Lashes. <laughs> and let's see, I think this is the last question. What is your most, oh no, there's two. What is your most favorite foundation? <clears throat> I would have to say 
Um, the two most common ones I wear are my Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and I've actually ran out now, so now I don't have any right this second, and my Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I would, if I had to choose between the two, I would say my Born This Way foundation just because it has a more natural coverage. It looks really, really good, but I have on the Fit Me foundation right now, and it looks almost just as good, and I used my new blending sponge with it. This is from Espora Collective. And this is a velvet blending sponge, you can see. It's really nice and soft. And if you guys want to get those sponges, you can use my code to get 15% off of that. It's Amy15 if you want. And, <clears throat> but yeah, between those two, it'll probably be the Born This Way from Too Faced. Why did you start an Instagram? That is the last question. I guess for... Not for the same reason I started a YouTube. I guess I started an Instagram to more so promote my YouTube because I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know how to really promote myself like that. <laughs> but um, I guess so it was initially so I could promote my YouTube. And now I'm actually just kind of enjoying like communicating with other like fellow beauty people and like seeing other people's work and stuff. So now it's kind of more so turned towards just being a part of like the beauty community on there. So initially it was to see if I could promote my YouTube through there and now it's just turned into genuinely, you know, wanting to use it and just having fun with it because you can express yourself on there and show off your makeup looks. And I showed off like this really fun, wild, vibrant watermelon look that I made that most people would think, uh, that's crazy. And people were nothing but supportive about it. And so that was like a turning point. I was like, wow, you know, these people actually get <laughs> that sometimes makeup for us is just art, you know? And it's not just about like hiding something. That's never what it's been about for me. It's always been about enhancing and doing whatever the heck you want with your face so like I like being able to change and do things and alter things and at the same time keep myself how I look and I don't know I just love having fun with it I've always been creative with makeup and I love the fact that I can make a very out there eye look and people be like wow that's beautiful I love that and I'm like finally someone gets it I can be artistic with this and people get it so it's it's pretty cool um but that's all for this q a that was my last question i hope you guys enjoyed sorry if i rambled on a little bit i tend to do that and i hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching and what am i going to tell you to do let me get something subscribe <laughs> but really subscribe to my channel click that button down there or click this button wherever i'm going to place it and you can subscribe and you won't ever miss my videos, especially if you turn the notification on. And I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!